Today, we're gonna talk about safes and convertible notes and what the difference really is. There's a lot of different confusion out there on what is a safe, what's a convertible note, why are they different, why would you choose one versus the other, aren't they kind of the same, et cetera, et cetera. And so we're gonna talk about each one individually, the pros and cons of each from both an investor perspective as well as an entrepreneur's perspective. And hopefully with that information, if you're an entrepreneur, it can help you decide which one is right for you, as well as if you're an investor, which one you would prefer to invest in and the pros and cons of doing so. First of all, let's talk about a convertible note because convertible notes are one of the most well-known and, and oldest securities out there, especially for startups. So a convertible note is basically a, a piece of debt, right? Where you are, as an investor, are going to lend money to the company. But instead of the expectation that that company will pay you back in cash, what you're really hoping for is that that note will convert into equity. Effectively, what the company does is they say, hey, we're gonna pay back that debt that you gave us in the form of shares in our company, essentially. And there are a lot of reasons why a startup might want to use a convertible note. At a minimum, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than doing a fully priced round, as we call it, where they're raising equity at a set price. And the reason for that is because a priced round requires a lot more negotiation around the valuation and the terms. Typically, you're going to have to involve an attorney, and that attorney is going to charge anywhere between five and thirty thousand dollars to pull out the, all the documents together and negotiate it, and so on and so forth. And if you're a small company, especially like a seed stage company, you know, five to twenty thousand dollars just to raise the money can be really expensive, especially if that attorney is not willing to defer fees until after the round closes. With a convertible note, you can raise those for as little as five to $2,000, so a lot cheaper. The other thing is that they're a lot easier and a lot faster because you can just grab a convertible note off the shelf of your attorney, make some quick changes, send it out. People, if they wanna do the deal, they invest, they sign the docs, they send it back, they wire the money, and you're done. Whereas a priced round, I mean, there's a whole big package of documents that you have to review, you have to read through, you have to negotiate as an investor and entrepreneur, and then, you know, so it just takes a lot more time, a lot more money. Now, ultimately, that's where you wanna get because most investors are gonna demand that they're investing at a set price. But in the early stages, you may not even know what the price should be. I mean, how do you put a value on some drawings on a napkin and two people working out of a garage, right? That's really tough, especially if they don't have a product, they don't have any traction, they don't have any customers. How do you put a value on that? And so that's another big reason why entrepreneurs have used convertible notes for a long time, because it allows them to basically kick the can down the road on valuation. Now, just some quick terms that you should be aware of when you're evaluating a convertible note or you're as either an entrepreneur or an investor, there are some major terms that, that you should be aware of. So one, most convertible notes, particularly at the seed stage, are going to come with a cap, a valuation cap. Now the valuation cap basically says that if the company raises at a valuation higher than that cap, the money that's in the convertible note will convert at the cap. Let's say you have a company that you've invested in through a convertible note and it has a cap of $10 million, but this company has just knocked it out of the park and they are absolutely crushing it and investors now want to invest at a $20 million valuation. Well, if you have that $10 million cap, then your investment will convert at a $10 million valuation rather than that $20 million valuation. So basically you're getting twice as much of the company as those other investors that are investing later at that $20 million valuation. So that's the power of the cap. Now let's say that the company does well, but maybe not well enough to raise at a $20 million valuation. Maybe they raise at that $10 million valuation. Well, that's your cap, but you might also have a discount. Now, the discount basically allows you to get a better deal than investors, even if they don't hit the cap. So in that case, if they're raising money at a $10 million valuation, you would then get a discount. And discounts often range between 10 and 30%. So in the case where I have a 20% discount, for example, my investment will convert at an $8 million valuation instead of a $10 million valuation, thereby giving me a 20% better price than the other investors that are coming in later. And all of that's designed to compensate me for the risk that I'm taking on. Now there are some other terms that are can be important for these convertible notes. Some additional things that those convertible notes might include that you should be aware of is like the maturity date of the note. When does it come due? Because when it comes due, then the company will actually owe you the money back. 
And then at that point, you'll have a decision to make whether or not you want to extend the note, or maybe there are terms in place that allow you to convert it into equity at that time. Or maybe you do, you want the company to pay you back the money that's owed. Another term that you should be aware of is the interest rate. Now, usually convertible notes will have an interest rate tied to them. And that interest rate varies typically between five and maybe 12%. But here's the thing, those interest rates, they are PIC interest rates. PIC standing for paid in kind. Now, what that means is that rather than pay you cash, they're gonna pay you in kind. They're gonna pay you stock. And so essentially, if you put in a $100,000 through a convertible note, and it comes with a 10% interest rate that is paid in kind, then at the end of a year, your investment will have grown to $110,000. And then let's say right after that, the company raises money and it converts into equity. Well, now you're gonna get $110,000 worth of investment in the company instead of just that 100,000. So that's how the interest rate works. It ultimately gives you like another benefit for lending them the money in the meantime and taking some of that additional risk. Okay, so that's a convertible note. Let's talk about safes. So back in 2013, Y Combinator, which is arguably the best uh, and most well-known accelerator in the world for startups, came up with this new security called a safe. Now safe stands for a simple agreement for future equity. And the whole concept behind it was, what can we do to take this convertible note concept, make it more friendly for entrepreneurs uh, in terms of being cheap and fast and easy to navigate. And that is how the safe got born. And today it's becoming a more and more and more common way for startups to raise money. Now a safe differs from a convertible note in a few different ways. One, it's debatable whether or not it's truly debt. And because of that, there's no obligations from the founders to pay back the safe if the company goes belly up. Like they're not on the hook personally where they may be in a convertible note, depending on how the terms are structured. The other thing with a safe is there's no interest rate. It's basically like this agreement between the company and the investors that what the investors really want in the future is equity, not debt. And because of that, it's this agreement that says, hey, in, at the future, at some future point that we'll define together, this investment that you're making will become equity. And the reason that we're not doing an equity round or price round today is because we're trying to save money, we're trying to kick the can down the road on valuation, right? And we're trying to move really quick, right? Because a, a price round could take, you know, weeks and potentially even months to get done, whereas a safe can be done very quickly. And you can just raise from investors as they come to you. You don't have to wait until you kind of collect them all together and do one massive close all at once. So under the safe, there are some key terms that you should be aware of. One of those is the cap. So just like I talked with convertible note, safes also have a cap. And that is very important as an investor that you want to ensure that your company has a cap to, give, to compensate you for that risk that you're taking earlier on. The other thing is that it'll usually have a discount, just the same as the convertible note discount, wherein if the company raises at a valuation lower than the cap, then the discount comes into place and you still get a better deal. Here's one of the best things about a safe from an entrepreneur perspective is that they're basically free. So you can go on a Y Combinator site, I've included a link down below, and you can just pull the document right off their website. They tell you exactly which parts to change, you know, put in the name of your company, put in the cap, put in the discount rate, et cetera, et cetera, and then you can send it to investors. And the great thing there is investors can then redline it and check it against what's on Y Combinator's site to ensure that they're getting you know, the right document without any wonky terms in it. This makes it really affordable and really fast for entrepreneurs to move quickly with raising these safes. The other thing is as these safes have become more and more common and more and more prevalent, investors are becoming more and more comfortable with them. It's just becoming you know, more and more part of the status quo. And what you're seeing over time is that convertible notes have kind of declined in their overall usage and safes have really grown and taken over. Now, there are some downsides of safes. And one of those downsides is it's not really well defined yet, like convertible notes, how those things will ultimately get treated in bankruptcy cases, because they're still kind of new and they don't really function like debt. They don't really function like equity. So it's a little bit of a gray area. So that's kind of a downside. The other thing is that if you're going to put a cap on the value of the company, through this safe, you're essentially putting a valuation on the business. So you're not really kicking the can down the road. 
on valuation. And there are a lot of VCs that push back and say, this is a major problem with convertible notes and safes that like, if you're going to put a cap, you're putting a valuation. If you're going to put on a, put a valuation on, you might as well just do a price round. But you know, look, there are different schools of thought. And sometimes as a small company, you just got to raise money and you got to go for it. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my others, like how will a potential recession impact equity crowdfunding?